Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a 2020 reading for Pisces, Moon Sun and Rising Sign. For those of you who are not familiar with your Moon and Rising Sign, I suggest you to check on my previous video about astrology explanation and I have also put a link on that video for you to check on your three signs. And for those of you who would want a more in-depth reading or a personal reading, you can send me an email to book your reading with me. Okay, so let's just start. This is the layout from January to December and I have also pulled an oracle card to see the overall energy for 2020. Let's start with the month of January. You have the Ace of Vessels. This is a very good card to start your new year. I feel that this year will be the new beginning for most of you. Some of you might be starting a new relationship or have a new family member you might also get married or got engaged for some others i feel that this might be a new beginning of finding their own self purpose it's more like a emotional fulfillment for them so whatever that is congratulations to you on february you have the ten of vessels this is the month where you will feel so much happiness. I feel that this month is the continuation of the new beginning that you just start this year and it brings you lots of happiness and joy into your life. Now on March, you have the Blasted Oak. This month might be a little bit not so easy for most of you. This is usually a change that will transform your life but it's not like a sudden change, it will be slowly but sure. There's something that is not aligned in your life. I feel that this could also mean that because of a new beginning that you've been going through, there must be some changes to adjust into this new situation. For some of you, I also feel that this month will be the month where you kind of explode emotionally because you have been trying to push down your emotion and that this finally got the best in you like there's a last straw thrown at you as a trigger for you to finally explode emotionally for the month of april you have the page of bells I feel that because of what happened in the month before, the changes and probably emotional explosion, you will be dealing with your thoughts uh, during April. I feel that some of you will be cutting off people in your life or the situation directly because you know that it's not serving you, right? But for some of you, I feel that you will need a little bit more time to adjust with this and you will spend a lot of time thinking how to handle things. And on May, you have the world tree. Um, I feel that this will be the month where some of you will get more responsibility and for some others, you will start to build some stability in your life and find a connection between what's happening and what it will bring you to. This also will be the month where most of you will learn a lot and grow so much from your new beginning. For the month of June, you have the Five of Arrows. This is a frustration month for you. Um, I kind of feel that you might be still unstable with whatever changes happen in your life. This could also be the frustration caused by these new responsibilities in your life. I feel that during this month you will be more emotionally unstable anything could just trigger you to feel 
less of yourself to be upset or to be angry so I feel that you really have to find a way to channel all of your emotion during this month and on July you have the great bear I feel that this month will be the month where you find your strength to just go out there and face all the challenges you will also find a way to deal with all the changes in your life I feel that most of you will learn all the lessons that's been happening to teach you and that you will use all that experience for your best interest now on August you have the nine of bows I feel that this month will be the month where you will learn a lot about yourself because of all the things that have been happening to you and how strong you can actually manage all those things and this will finally makes you realize how capable you are and that you deserve some respect for that and you will start to respect yourself more because of that realization on September you have the eight of arrows it might be a struggle month for you but this month will be different because you have been stronger and learn more about yourself so this struggle will not really affect you um, this will even make you grow more because you will be able to defend yourself against all the struggle that is coming to you and on October you have the shaman um, I feel that this month will be the month of a self-discovery for you you will be more reflective and you will see that you have a lot you have a new skills you have even a more strength than you think you have and that you now try to use all of this um, self-discovery to better yourself and your life now on November you have the four vessels I feel that during this month you will feel kind of nostalgic or you will spend most of your time thinking about the past uh, it could also mean that you will try to reveal with all the journey you've been through uh, during th this year and see if there's anything else you can learn or is there any other lesson that you've missed and for some of you I feel that you will be thinking about way back to the past um, where you feel that life was so much easier back then and now it's like so much struggle you kind of miss that moment in your life now for the last month of 2020 you have the six of bows so December will be the month for you to finally get where you're headed and achieve all the things that you deserve I feel that you will give yourself more credit people around you will also do the same and even the universe will provide you more and more abundance in your life during this month and that you will see that all of the struggles is finally serving you right and that you have learned all of that and you're ready to use the lessons you've learned to grow yourself your oracle card says obstacles are detour in the right direction so yeah I feel that 2020 will teach you a lot and obstacles are one of them um, you will probably struggle here and there but all of that happened for a reason and it's for the right reason and it just try to stir you to the right direction in your life sometimes you really need that push to you know be able to just go to another direction 
Okay, so that is all from me for the 2020 reading for Pisces. I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a good year of 2020.